Listen, folks, I'm getting real worried about John Howard's Australia. Like low-paid workers getting 5 to $10 while company bosses and politicians pocket massive pay rises. And one of the highest paid bosses in Australia is Qantas CEO Jeff Dixit, who collected a whopping $6.7 million last year, including a $2.9 million short-term bonus. Now, the Transport Workers Union aren't just tough truckies railing against big boss pay. They're actually taking a different route now, and it might be for the wiser. I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to The Main Report. Shareholder resolutions are all too rare in Australia. But the TWU have potentially landed a big blow against Qantas by proposing five different resolutions to be voted on at the forthcoming AGM in Melbourne on November 14. TWU National Secretary Tony Sheldon will be leading the debate from the floor and I reckon he's going to get a lot of support. Unions haven't had a lot of success in the past putting up shareholder resolutions in Australia. There's only been four meetings where it's happened. This is because you've got to get a hundred signatures to get a resolution up in Australia. American unions do hundreds of resolutions every year because you only need US $2,000 worth of shares to do it. So let's have a look at exactly how past resolutions put up by unions have gone in Australia. The finance sector union got 11.7% in 2004, taking on the Commonwealth Bank. The AWU got 13% in 2004 against Blue Scope Steel. Borrell, the Transport Workers Union, peaked at 18.8% in 2003. And the CFMEU got 20% back in 2000 against Rio Tinto. We're yet to see the Qantas notice of meeting because the board is bunkered down, still considering how they're going to deal with it that they behaved appallingly during the bid last year. The board should not have endorsed the bid and they should have released more information to shareholders, which is exactly the point that the TWU is making. All power to you, TWU. I reckon you'll get more than 50% in favour and you deserve it. As for the Qantas board, they were weak. They should have stood up against their CEO and the rest of the management who had huge conflicts of interest. And that includes you, General Cosgrove. Even the former head of our army didn't stand up to his conflicted CEO. I'm Stephen Main. Just keep doing your best. <laughs>